As the clock strikes midnight and we welcome a new year, it's not just about fireworks and celebrations. The new year is a powerful symbol of fresh beginnings and endless possibilities. It's the perfect time for motivation, a chance to reflect on the past, learn from experiences, and set exciting new goals for the future. But it's not just about personal goals. The new year is like a reset button for our lives. It's a time to declutter both physically and mentally. Cleaning out the old, making room for the new, it's about shedding what no longer serves us and embracing a renewed sense of purpose. I wanna take you guys along today on a full on Sunday reset with me for 2024. Let's get into it. Sunday, 9 a.m. I woke up, I actually watched some YouTube because I find when I watch people that inspire me, it inspires me. Lit a candle, you guys already know the vibes and we just kind of got to it. It was a gloomy, snowy day in New York and I wanted to take full advantage of being inside and being cozy. For me, I find cleaning to be relaxing, to be therapeutic. I know that might sound absolutely crazy, But when my apartment is a mess, I'm a mess. So we had to get down to business because it's the top of the year. And I know you can kind of reset at whatever part of the year. But for me, I like to use it as an excuse. So I just started cleaning off the counters because I feel like I let my counters get all messy. And I just kind of become, it becomes a place where I just throw everything. Then it was the weekly reset of my supplements. I take a lot of supplements. I do like a women's multi. I do a probiotic, a prebiotic, omega. Like obviously talk to your doctor. So I'm not telling you what to take. But yeah, I had to recently upgrade to this bigger pill box because I needed to fit more because I take Nutrafol as well. And you have to take like four a day. So I was like, I need to get a bigger one. Did that. That's a little bin I keep all of my supplements in, so each week I can just kind of pull it out. I cleaned my counters. I love the smell of my kitchen after I clean the counters. It's quite lovely, I must say. Unloaded the dishwasher. Fun fact, I don't know if everyone feels this way, like when it comes to household chores. I hate unloading the dishwasher, but I love cleaning dishes and loading the dishwasher, which I feel like it would be opposite because you're dealing with dirty dishes versus clean dishes. I don't know. And simultaneously, while this is all happening, I had twice as organized over at my apartment and they were helping me do, I have, I do like seasonal refreshes of my closets, but my closets were pretty good other than my coat closet. So she was helping me organize my coat closet as well as my dresser in my bedroom and just wait till you guys see the results. But then I came in my little closet room here and I had gotten ready super fast the night before to go out. So like I had purses everywhere, I had clothes everywhere. Why is it like that? Why as girls do we just throw everything around? It's just, I don't know, it's part of being a girl, I guess. The, my sunglasses rack was looking very unorganized. I try to have, I have a lot of black sunglasses. I kept all my black sunglasses on top and I was just kind of reorganizing based off like size. That's kind of how I choose to organize it. I just got these little racks off of Amazon. Then it was time to kind of plan the day and just plan my week basically. This is my Doing Well Daily planner that I co-designed with the founder of Doing Well Daily. Then I was kind of prepping my closet for um, Twice As Organized to get in there because you know, I didn't want it to be an absolute mess for them so they could kind of help fluff up my coat closet. Ugh, I hate fluffing my couch, but it looks so much better when I do like, you guys saw my couch before and now it looks, you know, like brand new. <laughs> Me like, yes, chef's kiss, it's so perfect. Time to do laundry. I pretty much do laundry every Sunday. I was using the Laundress laundry detergent. I'm so happy they're back. I literally love that detergent so much. And I decided to also organize um, a little bit my shelves to the left of my dishwasher, my dishwasher, my laundry, because everything was getting a little chaotic. So I was folding towels and kind of going through and seeing what serves me in here or what if what if this is clutter. I finally took away my Christmas dish towel and replaced it. How sad. How sad. I hate that and oh my gosh you guys my dad was visiting and he was 
shook by the amount of money I was paying for like a six roll of Charmin, which I totally agree now. And he insisted that I buy a 30 roll on Amazon. And I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna put all of this, but okay. Also, I guess I didn't show, I put on a Manuka honey mask. That's why there's stuff on my face. Um, it's supposed to be like antibacterial and also help with the glow. I don't know you guys, but yeah, so I was unloading all the toilet paper and I had to find storage for all of it, but I did okay. Back to the computer we go, um, clearing the inbox. Sometimes I like to do this on Sundays, so Monday morning I wake up and I have no emails yet, and then they slowly start to come in, but I kind of get all the outbound um, out on Sunday night so people see it when they wake up Sunday morning. I also had ordered a Juice Generation smoothie because they're amazing, and then it snowed. Delaney texts me and goes, wait it's snowing outside and as soon as I looked up it started snowing where I was and I'm a Florida girl like for me that's relaxing took off the honey face mask after literally an hour and started doing some gua sha with some face oil and that was the morning I had been drinking this past weekend so I was like let me do some hydration I think a lot of people think electrolytes are just for athletes and that is not the case I love my element electrolytes you guys already know and they actually now have a chocolate medley box which is amazing and it's served hot winter hydration matters too we become less thirsty both in cold weather and at high elevations but that doesn't mean we're hydrated it just means we need more so optimal hydration requires the right fluid to electrolyte balance to keep us feeling and performing our best so i made the element chocolate chai it was so delicious served hot it's absolutely amazing and it's just a cool way to get in your electrolytes it's like you can make it like a little hot cocoa. It's so yummy. I also love the chocolate mint. Right now, Element is offering my listeners a free sample pack with any order. This is a great way to share Element with a salty friend. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Danielle Carolyn. This deal is only available through my link. You must go to D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash Danielle Carolyn. I will also have a link down below, but I love Element so much. And thank you to them for sponsoring this part of the video. Continuing on with the reset, (laughs) I had to do even more laundry. I started laundry with just some towels and stuff. Then we went in with the clothes. I try to do darks and then lights. You know, I feel like I have my life together in college. I would just throw everything together and hope for the best. Or I would do a cold wash, which I'm not above. I also put my laundry basket outside of my laundry, so I remember. And then the organizers left, and I went and looked at the... God, that... I didn't show you guys before, and that's for a reason, because it was actually a mess. These are all my workout tops, workout leggings, tank tops, rompers, anything workout related, I could not believe. And then on the bottom, I have my pajamas, tank tops, tees, and tanks. She crushed it. And I do know how to fold it the way she does, so it's easy to maintain. And then I wanted to go look at the coat closet as well. It was Christmas morning, I swear. Da-da-da-da! The way she made all my puffers together, all my trenches together, all the wool coats together, all my hats. Like, I just let it go the last month or so because I was in and out so much with travel. And we're not doing that again because they just crushed it. And I'm so beyond thankful. And I find it to be worth it to work with organizers if you can keep it up. And I do. Um, Then I decided to straighten my hair because I don't know. I don't know why I did this. Actually, I haven't straightened my hair in so long. I usually just use the Dyson Air Straight, but this Kristen S hair straightener is great. And I had showered the night before and slept in it. And I woke up, I woke up like this and my hair looked like that. And this is a little reverse. Then I decided to shower. I don't know if that makes sense, but I had to exfoliate because I was getting a spray tan later that day because we were getting ready for the Mean Girls movie premiere the next day. Got in this robe that Drink Poppy gave me and I'm obsessed with it. Made, this is like one of my favorite little snacks. It's the Sola Bread with raspberry jam and peanut butter, like a PB&J. I made a PB&J and it was so good then i decided to watch claudia oshry's lean in um comedy special because it just came out on prime video go check it out always want to support my friends and she's hysterical i actually saw this live oh I guess I turned it on while I was making the PB&J because, you know, you got to have entertainment at all times. My brain is like all the time. So I was just making my little P 
PB and J. It's so good. I'm obsessed with Sola Bread right now. Like, so good. I get it on Amazon and boom, done. I'm a little kid again. Now on to the next phase. I had stuff in my bedroom as well. I just had jackets and clothes that I just left on the floor. I no longer have a chair in my bedroom that I can just throw everything on. And it's probably for the best, but... I had, to, I had to clean it because it would just pile up the next day and the next day. Whereas if I just put things back one at a time, I'd do it. I also probably need to go through this closet again and declutter. I'm constantly decluttering. Because <laughs> um, I have like my smaller jackets in this closet and then pants and sweaters and sweatshirts for the most part. So I was just kind of getting everything back in there. I also keep my bathing suits in there as well. And just hanging up some stuff. I got some new bathing suits because I'm going on a trip next weekend with some friends to Mexico. I don't even think I ever said that. Now it's time for spray tan. My favorite, Nora, is here from Bessa Bella Bronze. I love that they come to you. It's absolutely so amazing. And then I had a good old cottage cheese snack and I started watching Devil Wears Prada. This is, um, I just put on like a dark sweat set after my spray tan. Gosh, my time with my cottage cheese is spiritual. Like I freaking love my daily cottage cheese. That makes me want some right now. Then I decided to make some dinner. We made some Hello Fresh. Um, I was making, I think it was called like the unfried chicken. I love Hello Fresh so much because it literally just makes me feel like I'm a chef, but they sent me all the ingredients, pre-portioned, all the recipe, like, I, but you know what? I put on an apron. And I felt good. And I had, like I said, I had Devil Wears Prada on. And it was just a really, I just had the best day, clearly. I feel like this is not my typical day, but it's nice to, like, it felt like a good way to start the new year. Into the oven they go. I ate my dinner while I watched The Intern. That's the next movie. It was a movie marathon night for Anne Hathaway. I love the movies she's in. And so I watched literally Devil Wears Prada and The Intern. Both movies kind of give the same energy if you're ever wondering. Oh my gosh, this meal was so good by the way. And I love Robert De Niro so much and I love this movie so much. Uh, then it was time to clean up the kitchen. I literally cleaned the kitchen twice, but once you cook, you kind of have to. I had laundry to fold. You know, once the laundry's done, then you gotta fold it, which is another thing I don't really like to do. I'd rather like deal with the dirty laundry than fold and I actually folding I don't mind it's the putting away it's the putting away then it was time for social time because I hadn't seen anyone really all day Delaney came over Ryan was coming over soon after I got this huge popcorn box from way hair care and it was so nice of them and we watched the Golden Globes red carpet and then also we watched um the Golden Globes actually of course and Ryan had never watched a reward show before and Sunday Night Football was on, but he came to watch uh, the Golden Globes with us, which was very impressive. J-Lo looks beautiful as always. <laughs> Me and my bestie and my boyfriend can't get better than that. My spray tan was clearly coming in and the Golden Globes began. I'm so glad we watched it. It was such a pop culture moment. I feel like everyone was talking about the Golden Globes the next day. Don't know what came over me. Ordered Taco Bell. I haven't had Taco Bell in forever. Ryan got a taco. I got a burrito, like a little, the rice and bean burrito is my favorite. And then uh, Delaney got the Baja Blast, I believe. We all got a little something, something from Taco Bell. Because the awards are long. They didn't end till 11 o'clock. And it was just such a lovely night with my, with my peeps, watching an award show, commentating on it. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Good stuff. Then they left, and it was time for the closing shift. Blew out my candle, turned off the lights, Drew the curtains, put on my red light, did the skincare. Actually, I didn't do much skincare because I had my spray tan on. Filled up my water with my new little watercraft. Oh, spilled a little bit on the nightstand. And I went to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're feeling inspired and motivated. Thanks for watching. Good night. Mm -hmm.